Hi everybody, I'm back. Okay, rather short video coming up. This video is how to set up the GF99 and surface gradient factor displays in your Shearwater Dive computer. So look, in general, they're very easy to use. Shearwater Dive computers, this is the Perdix 2. You squeeze these two bottom buttons and voila, our computer comes on and hopefully it focuses. There it is. Left button is big menu. So look, left, turn off, select gas, switch, dive setup, dive log, start Bluetooth, system setup. Okay, that's the menu where I now right click into it. So I'm clicking this right button, right click into it. And you can set up all kinds of different things in here. So I'm not going to deal with mode setup right now. I'm not going to deal with my deco setup. This is where I would be able to control various deco stops and my set my gradient factors. That's for my transmitters. This allows you to control what is displayed in your center row. That is what Andy is going to be talking about in his article because what he likes to display in his second row, I'm just left clicking now all the way through and I'm going to show you photos that he made of these settings. In his, set, in his center row, he likes on the left to see gradient factor 99, center surface gradient factor, and on the right, he wants to see his ascent rate. This is awesome stuff because they're all related. Another great photo. He says, I also like to display the accurate ascent rate on my Shearwater computer. The standard bar display doesn't enable accurate ascent rates to be achieved. So there you go, in the middle row, he's got his gradient factor 99. This is a, this is a looks like a, um, an open circuit dive. Uh, he's got his surface gradient factor in the middle, and then on the far right, he's got his ascent rate. Okay. Continuing, because this is super valuable information. He says, knowing your exact ascent speed is unbelievably useful, especially as you get shallower, right? It's going to enable you to get really consistent and accurate about controlling this gradient factor 99, which of course impacts ultimately what you will be at when you surface and you control this ascent rate at the same time. I agree with him on this. So he says he ascends at about uh, nine to 10 meters per minute from the bottom to his safety stop but then slows down a lot. From the safety stop to the surface, he slows down to three meters per minute. I agree with that because from the safety stop, from the safety stop to the surface, that's the biggest pressure change. So you don't wanna go fast there. If anything, after your safety stop, go even slower because the percentage of pressure change in that last 15 or 20 feet is enormous. So I really, really go slow there. Now, what we're going to discuss next is the shear water gradient factor and surface gradient factor displays on a normal dive. Don't jump to this video. He goes on to say, you need to read my my detailed expl explanations of gradient factor 99 and surface gradient factor. Okay, so I want you to watch the previous videos before we go further because now we're going to get into cool examples of what different dive scenarios are telling us. We've got all these different dive scenarios that he goes through in the article. We're going to go into a descent. So what is gradient factor 99 showing us during a descent? We're going to look at gradient factor 99 during your bottom time while you're diving. And we're going to look at 
gradient factor and surface gradient factor at the end of your bottom time. We're going to look at that. Then we're going to get into the ascent, which is what we have to control. We're going to look at gradient factor and surface gradient factor at the start of the ascent, during the ascent, at the start of the safety stop, at the end of the safety stop, and then surfacing from the dive and even get into multi-level diving examples. So lots of cool things we're going to look at, how to interpret that information. All of the videos I've done so far are leading up to this. You got to understand that information in order to understand the next series of videos we're going to do. Bye everybody. Hope this is helping. I love gradient factor. I love shear water. I love surface gradient factor 99. Gradient factor 99 and surface gradient factor. Remember, gradient factor 99. It's like controlling my real-time gradient factor, which impacts my surface gradient factor. How valuable is that?